Hello there, great to be back. Love making these videos for you. Today, I wanted to talk to you about your inner critic. You know, people often talk about their inner critic, this voice within that seems to sort of nag at you and, and criticize you and tell you you're not worthy, you're not good enough and, and says things like, oh, you couldn't do that. How could you do that? And, you know, you'll never, you'll never achieve that or you're stupid or all those horrible mean, meany things that the inner critic says to us. So what can you do if you finding that that voice, that inner voice is really getting to you and getting in the way of your life, getting in the way of your happiness and getting in the way of the things you want to succeed in, maybe stopping you from living out your life with your dreams, doing the things you want to do, have the adventures you want to have. Maybe it's getting to you with you know, certain types of relationships or maybe it's getting to you at work in some your job or you're not succeeding in the way you want to do in a business or the inner critic is, you know, it can really get to us in all different areas of life. It's quite useful to, to consider where that inner critic voice comes from. Is it, is it really your voice or did it have its roots in somebody else's voice? Perhaps somebody who wasn't quite as, caring and validating of you as they could have been somebody in your past, possibly when you were quite small and quite impressionable. So you took on board what that person was saying to you. What can happen is that we can kind of integrate that voice into our psyche, into our subconscious. And so it just becomes this voice in our head. And we don't really remember or understand that it was never really us in the first place becomes a sort of a habit that you know we say I talk to myself and actually maybe it's somebody else's voice so it's worth thinking about that and recognizing that because if that is the voice of your inner critic some somebody else's voice by recognizing that it gives you the first step of being able to step back step back and separate yourself from it when we think about the inner critic, we think of it as being this mean entity that wants to harm us and hurt us and stop us from doing the things that we want to do in life. Why would it want to do that? I guess we can see it from two different angles. One angle is that it might be trying to protect you. It might be that it's so full of fear and so scared that you might fail in something that it thinks that if you are to, if it's to stop you from doing it, then you can't fail. If you don't try something, you can't fail. So in a weird way, that's one reason that an inner critic can be constantly putting you down and telling you you can't do things. And another reason that the inner critic can be there is because of generations of messages being passed down or criticizing from one person to the next to the next with so much hurt going on. You may have heard the saying, hurt people, hurt people. And it's the same with your inner critic. It may well be greatly hurt, greatly vulnerable and wounded. And it's trying to get your attention, just like playground bullies can. So, Counterintuitive as it sounds, what can be very powerful is to connect with your inner critic and rather than trying to push it away or getting cross with it, actually give it some love. Send it kindness, tell it you're sending it love, tell it, tell it it doesn't have to be hurt anymore, that you know and you trust that all is well, that you've got this, that you can do this, that you're good enough and good enough is good enough and life is fine, and that it doesn't need to cry out for your attention anymore, and that you will send it love. And strange as that sounds, it very often helps to diminish that inner critic greatly, because it doesn't have to do anything anymore to get your attention. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are on the inner critic. What's your experience? Do you have an inner critic? Does it, is it there all the time? 
Does it come up sometimes in certain situations? Have you managed to, to let it go? Have you tried to resist it? Have you tried sending it love? Let me know in the comments. And I'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up like button below because that way more people see these videos and that means you're helping me to help people. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.